Look who's back and looking better than ever. Someone got a new camera and that somebody is me. Welcome back guys. I pledge myself to your teachings. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I got a new camera. I got the uh, Canon G7X uh, Mark II. I've been wanting this camera for a very long time. This is a, I know it's a vlogging camera, but it's something. It's gonna be good when I go on my honeymoon in um, November, and I'm just really excited. I wanted a really nice camera. This is like, has really good reviews, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take the plunge, and I'm gonna buy it. So, enough with that. Um, I'm back. I know it's been like a month, but hopefully I can keep these videos out coming more. The one thing that was really, really holding me back was my video quality. In a way, I'm like a perfectionist, and having a phone just didn't feel right to me. So, what I wanted was a good camera, and once I got that, here we are. I actually got this as a... Um, Congratulations to myself for working the past two jobs for the past since September until now Because I'm saving up for our wedding and our venue is almost paid off So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some I get myself something That is nice and here we are um, So on to the video um, first of all I want to show you guys that I did kind of fix my pop wall We're gonna get a little bit more shelves because we still have a little more pops on the floor and we want this place to be really nice and neat because eventually I want to show you guys my Star Wars collection, which is pretty it's pretty decent. It's pretty big, but it's just decent. Um, with that being said, um, I put all of my Star Wars pops up here, so you can see. I got the whole this whole row is um, um uh, right there. That whole row is uh, Ray, and then I got some Kylos in there, and then. You know, a few other ones, you know, I got the Luke, um, even have this one, not a lot of people have this one, um, if you all know me, you know I'm a huge Vader Anakin fan, so I need more Anakin Pops, I want the Revenge of Seth one, but it's kinda expensive, but, I might get myself that eventually, but yeah, all this right here is just all Star Wars right here. Most of my Pops are, um, miscellaneous, but... I have more Star Wars pops than any other genre. Um, I even have like a little horror section down here. Let's see if I can get down. I got my whole horror section right over. Let's see if I can find it. Right here. Yes, that is a Billy Pop, and I've been asking for that for like ever. And my fiance got it for me for Christmas, and I nearly cried. Because anybody who knows me knows that Jinxaw is my second favorite um, serial killer. Right um, by Jason, which I have right here. Okay, enough of that. You guys aren't here for horror stuff. You ain't here for anything but Star Wars. So, today, 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 I'm going to talk about one of the most controversial characters in the Star Wars universe. And I'm here to defend this said character. And that said character is... Ray. I'm here to defend Ray because I'm gonna tell you guys right now, Ray, right here, she. I'm gonna. You guys are gonna hear exactly why I love her. First of all, I want to say this. I got this when the Force Awakens came out. Look how like the detail was on this. It's not that good. I'm trying to get the. Yeah, it's not that good of detail. But the new one for Rise of Skywalker, like it's amazing the detail on that is amazing compared to this one like it's like night and day it's, I think it's pretty freaking cool since Rise of Skywalker has been out for um, almost a month in theaters it's time for me the Vader fan the Anakin fan here to defend Rey Palpatine Skywalker whatever you want to call her just pray no Rey I'm here to talk about it. people say that she's a Mary Sue uh-uh to me, she is not a Mary Sue. First of all, when I first saw Force Awakens, I was excited. I was, like, beyond, like, I had Kylo everything, guys, okay? I had a phone case for Kylo. I got his lightsaber first. I got all his action figures first. I got his pop first because anybody who knows me knows that I am a huge uh, Sith fan. I love the Sith. I love everything about the dark side. 
Red is my favorite color, so of course, you know, like I said, huge Anakin Vader fan. So of course, I'm gonna go towards Kylo Ren simply because he has a red lightsaber. He's gotta be the Sith, right? Automatically liked him right from the beginning. Um, I didn't get any Rey stuff because I thought she was just gonna be like, like kind of like a Padme or Leia. Even though I like Padme and Leia, I thought she was just gonna be like the girl in the middle, you know. And I thought the story was gonna be mainly on Kylo, or you know, he was the Sith. And like I didn't, I thought Finn was gonna be the Jedi. No, honestly. I went to go see Force Awakens. I'm hella excited. I saw this movie like three times, four times in the theater, by the way. And like I said before, I am a dark-sided person. I love the Sith. I love everything. Palpatine, Vader, Dooku, Maul. I am a huge Sith person. When I walked out of that theater, after watching The Force Awakens for the first time, I turn to my dad and I go like this. Do I like the Jedi now? What the fuck? I was so confused. Because I fell in love with Daisy Ridley's portrayal of Rey. And I want to get her everything Rey. I wanted to buy everything. And by the time the movie came out, Everybody wanted Ray stuff. So, and I was working at Walmart at the time, so I should get first pick, right? No, I couldn't find Ray stuff anywhere. It was so hard to find anything Ray because everybody fell in love with her from Force Awakens. Luckily, I still, I, I eventually found them and like, I paid a lot of money for one of them. I'm not gonna, not gonna go down that road, but I wanted Ray everything. I fell in love with Ray because for the first time ever, I actually liked the Jedi. I liked Jedi, like, I mean, like, I liked them. I always liked them, but I was more like, I liked the Sith. The Sith was always me. And I didn't know why. I think it's because I'm a huge Vader fan. I don't know. But I always connected to the Sith. So when I walked out and I was like, I want Jedi everything. That should tell you something that she, she had an impact on me. So, and then, you know, as time went on, she started getting a lot of hate. And she's a Mary Sue. And yada, yada, yada. And, like, now everything makes sense because of what she is. Spoiler, she's a Palpatine. But the thing is, is, like, she's not. You know, if you look down into the nitty-gritty, she has failed. She has not always won, especially in Rise. Rise of Skywalker, you saw the vulnerable side of Rey. And that is, I love, I really like that movie. That was actually my favorite of the three. And Daisy Ridley, she captures this character so much. She took Rey very seriously. She was in the gym all the time. You know, she was building muscle. She went to all this lightsaber training. And she doesn't get as much credit as um, Adam Driver. And I'm going to say this right now. I regretted buying Kylo everything because I didn't like Kylo at the end of the movie. I didn't like him. I preferred Rey over Kylo. I thought he was a whiny little bitch. And that's just my opinion. Now people are going to get mad at me. Like, I like him now. I think that ever like I after watching a couple times like yeah I can see you know he's got that Skywalker broodiness in him, but at first I was like I don't care about Kylo I want more Rey, and because of that I just I just fell in love with her and Daisy Ridley is hot okay let's just be honest with that she's hot but um, besides that it's like she I felt like she had a lot of character development and. She embodied, like, you know, I'm sorry to say this, but, you know, more girls need uh, somebody like that. And she fits perfectly aligned with um, the main females in the series, you know. Whether you think or not that you think she's weak, Padme was actually fucking badass. Especially in Attack of the Clones, she was badass. And she stood up for what she wanted to. So Padme was awesome. I love Padme. Princess Leia, like, hello, general, like, Princess Leia is fucking Princess Leia. Who doesn't fucking love her, you know what I mean? 
and it's just like she fits perfect because she's a strong female character but not only is she a strong female character she is a jedi okay guys little girls want to see themselves as jedi now i get it there's ahsoka and all the other ones but they are not the main focus ray was the main focus and because of that it gave little girls more of a, like you know i can be a head poncho jedi not just boys I don't have to be just one of the girls in the background. You know, Ahsoka's amazing. I, I'll admit that she's amazing. I love Ahsoka. You know, like, but at the same time, it's like, in the live action, little girls want to see a live action version of them. Because let's be honest, not a lot of people have seen the Clone War TV show. So you, if anybody who just watches the live action, it's going to be nice to see that, okay? Um, people say she's a Mary Sue because, you know, she beat Kylo in the beginning in Force Awakens. She only beat him because he was weakened by the shot from Chewie, okay? He was bleeding. He was weak, okay? He was weakened because he was injured. So, of course, she's gonna kick his ass. The guy's freaking weakened. He got shot at. Of course, he's going to not win against somebody who just, you know have the force awakening inside of her of course he's gonna fail you know what i mean he still put up a good ass fucking fight and um last jedi they both didn't win you know the lightsaber fucking broke like she's not a mary sue people say oh she beat him in force awakens when he she barely knew anything she didn't have training yet he was weak and you like totally forget that the fact that Kylo Ren was injured. So of course she's going to beat him. I don't understand why people use that as an excuse. Because he kicked her her ass in the Rise of Skywalker. You if you've seen that movie, you saw that he kicked her ass. And she only stabbed him because he got distracted by Leia. Okay? She kicked his, he kicked his ass. She yeah, but that, sorry. He kicked her ass in the last movie. Okay? So, she's not all that perfect. She is flawed, and that's why I love her. Daisy Ridley does an amazing job as Rey. And, I, I don't know, just everything about Rey just makes me smile. And it was funny because my dad and I, we go and see the Star Wars movie together. Um, I saw, the second time I saw Last Jedi was with him because I was with my, that's when me and my fiance first started dating and, he lived like an hour away, so, you know, but I promised him this time, you know, I would take him to see Rise of Skywalker before I took my fiance. So we went, and they had these popcorn buckets, and they had a, a, a Ray one with the, with the, you know, with the Resistance, and then you had the Kylo one that had uh, the Knights of Ren. I go with my dad, and he goes, which, he's like, do you want one? I was like, yeah, sure. And he goes, which one do you want? Do you want the, do you want the Ray one, or do you want the Kylo one? And I was like, I want the Ray. And my dad literally told the cashier was like, this boy is a Sith user. He loves the Sith. He loves the dark side, but there's just, just something about this girl, Ray that he just loves. He just loves her. And like, it is a fact. I think that Ray is flawed. And people just like to, you know, they, they find anything to complain about, I feel like. And it's just like, if you can just go into a movie and enjoy it, you'll enjoy it more. And that's, I have another video idea for that, about how, you know, certain fans go into a movie and still enjoy it, while certain fans go into criticize. But that's another video. But... With that being said, um, I'm a huge Ray fan. I love Kylo. I love all of them. Don't get. I don't think I don't like Kylo. I I like Kylo, but when people say that Adam Driver was the one that carried this franchise, it's not true. Because for me, it was the partnership of between Daisy and Adam Driver. Without those two, I feel like that it would have fallen. And I have a whole bunch of ideas about the other characters, especially Finn. I have a whole video dedicated to how they lost potential with Finn. 
But anyways, um, thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Um, expect more videos. Um, I'm going to try and do... No, not try. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Every Monday and Friday, I'm going to post a video. Um, whether I have to record them ahead of time, that's okay. I'll do that. But we're gonna, I'm going to put myself on a schedule Monday, Friday, for at the moment. are going to be the two days, beginning of the week, end of the uh, week, week. And we're just going to have it fun, guys. We're just going to live it up. Um, I'm really excited about this new camera. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And as always, if you like what you see, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. Because I promise you're going to get a lot of content. And also, who doesn't love Star Wars, right? And I also have to say that this is not for kids. Okay? Star Wars is a PG-13 movie. The most of them are PG-13. So with that being said, this is not for kids as I do cuss in my videos. My apologize. My apology. Eventually I'll stop cussing so much, but it's, it's you know, I'm a beginner, you know. But anyways, thank you guys for coming to my channel. And always, I'll see you on the flip side. May the force be with you.